Welcome to the the Sigmas of Office post game press conference. Uh, I'll remind members of the uh, media pool to please state your name and your affiliation when asking questions of the student athletes and the head coach. And we'll begin the press conference if we can get some opening comments from Coach Carroll about the next game. Um, well, I'm very proud of my hockey team. Anyone that watched the game could see we, we, uh, we obviously didn't win the game, but um, we certainly played well and uh, faced a lot of adversity and dealt with it. And our goalie proved she was an All-American tonight. Coach, CJC, we're in the state of sports information. Um, Adrian was on the power play night times and he did a lot on the score tonight. Can you just talk about special teams and both the goals coming on the power play and how, you, how well you guys have done on the uh, special teams in the last few weeks of your season here. Yeah, I mean, the uh, the last, when they scored the winning goal, it was for sure, you know, our girl pulled that player down and, and that was a penalty. Um, but I've got a group of girls that work hard, but I really have uh, six forwards that we have relied on to kill penalties. and. I think of the last six penalties, three of the penalties were one of the players that's one of the forwards on my kill, so I was down to five, and the longer you're on the kill, and blocking shots and selling out in our defense, we were, we were missing one of our penalty killers the whole night tonight because he was six, so we were trying to get by with rolling uh, you know, some of our more experienced players more often on, on defense, and you know, it just caught up to us. I mean. Five on five, we played a great hockey game, and we had our chances on the power play as well early that we didn't we didn't bury. I mean, so that's just the way the game is, and um, you know, moving forward, uh, that should be a strength of our team next year is our penalty kill for all the all the you know all the experiences we have in a high pressure game. So we did we did well with it. We we pressured them, we got in their face, we made them uncomfortable. They got some kids that can handle the puck and shoot it and. Like I said, hockey. Tell me about your entire team concept of blocking shots. How well have they been able to do that and allowing you to essentially catch pucks in the air? Just tell me about you see it all the time, of course, even in practice. So just describe me. Was this even better than usual? Just describe the shot clock and nature that you guys have, particularly against them. High quality, uh, very high quality um, Our team uses this phrase a lot to sell out. So, Chap is really good at take, blocking shots and everything. And I don't know, they just are there, they were taught that way. And they just want to be there and not get the shot through. So that, and if it does get through, which most times it doesn't because they do a great job, um, I can see it perfectly because I got my defenseman tying up the girl in front. So, honestly, they just do a great job all over the ice, all the time. They always sell out, and that's our main thing to work on. Uh, Matthew Schoen is also with the NCAA.com uh, broadcast for Amanda. Uh, just talk a little bit about your transformation from last year to this year, becoming an All-American goalie, and kind of how that's gone for you. Um, throughout high school, I was on a really, really good team. And we, I didn't get pressured a lot. I didn't have to make amazing saves all the time. I just, we won. And then coming in as a freshman, I wasn't really used to like being pressured and having breakaways and two-on-ones all the time and the girls that are just as good as our team. So over summer, I really worked hard. And I ate healthy. I worked out every single day, got on the ice as much as possible, and just tried to do better than I did the year before. I only won three games last year, which is very depressing and I really wanted to come out on top this year and my teammates have helped a lot with that we have great defense in front it's not all me like it's them too this war isn't just me it's all of them too and they contribute 100% just as much as I do uh, what role has Steve Carroll coaching as a goalie coach kind of played in that as well oh he's great he comes down every week work on things that need to be worked on he's awesome love to be there he's a positive guy and just helps a lot. I'm very thankful that he's there every week. And 
Brenda, how about you? Uh, you know, you were a defenseman and then you were able to figure out a way to score a goal like that. Uh, just, uh, you can just tell me about that journey that's been uh, to, to figure out a way to score a goal like that, such a game. That's been virtually your entire life prior to that yeah. a year ago. Yeah. Yeah, so I was a defenseman all throughout high school on the start of last year, and then they kind of saw, well, I, I used to run around with my head cut off. It looked like a chicken with its head cut off. But I figured out now the systems, and I think it's, um, the goal scoring is mostly just hard work. My teammates calling for the puck, all the communication on the ice. Um, there's always a player that has a score goal, so got to go out and do it. Coach, how do you uh, transition now? You still have one more game left to play. Uh, and you've, you've been in this situation now quite a few times when you uh, move on to the third place game. What's the message to the team moving forward, and how do you keep a, a positive outlook with one game left to play? Yeah. There's two ways to look at it. We've been in the position, at least if you looked at it from the outside, as far as like first, second, third, and fourth. But this is a different uh, position because on the last couple times we were here, I had I had teams that had a lot more success during the season and pretty much came in and, um, you know, uh, maybe didn't appreciate some of the things that, you know, or we didn't get tested as much at times until we got to this this situation. And, and so it was a big letdown for all the kids. But I, I think we just got done talking about what an opportunity we have to play another game. we got three seniors that have busted their tail all year. And I know it's going to be a tough turnaround, but it's bonus hockey, just like we've been playing since we uh, got into the NCAAs. And, um, you know, I know they're going to be sore tomorrow, um, but they'll come out. And you know, if we if we win, great. If we don't, uh, you know, it's it's we're a lot better than uh, you know we accomplished a lot more this year than we have in, in some other times in past years. Not to take anything away from other teams, but I'm just trying to. Have the back of our girls that are here. Marina, Matt Sisler, Adrian Daily Telegram. Uh, Adrian got up. Yeah, you know, Adrian was able to get up two to one in that second period. How big was it for uh, the team going to the third period for you to come up and uh, get that power play goal to force the game back level? We always say um, on our team, just ride the wave. So whether it's ups or downs, so you got to just kind of go with it. Um, it was huge to get uh, tied up. And that 2 2 at the end of the second, going into the third, it was just like how we went into our River Falls game. And we had faith in our team that, hey, we're going to pull it out. And we kind of had that feeling the whole time. Um, knowing that it was 2 2 going into the third was awesome. I think that we, we could have done a hell, of a hell of a lot if we had 5 on 5 that, that third period. Any other questions? Thank you. Thanks.